Welcome viewers to another Copenhagen Middle Earth Battle Gamers video. I'm your host Rob and today I'm going to be showing you a few of the miniatures that I've been working on over the last week. So let's have a look. Okay, so the first models I'm showing you today are not models, they're actually mine. Uh, these two eagles belong to the channel host Christians. Um, he has asked me to help him out with his backlog of unpainted miniatures, which is uh, rather large. Um, so I was more than happy to help, of course, and uh, he'll be helping me out with uh, some models that I've been trying to get my hands on and that are not exactly easy to come by, and he's always very good at finding things like that, so we're going to be kind of helping each other out uh, in that sense. Um, and so the first models he wanted me to do were these eagles, uh, due to um, popularity on the Facebook page. Uh, people wanted to see some wanderers in the wild, um, so that's what I started with. Um, I think it did a pretty okay job with it, considering my lack of paints. <laughs> um, and the, the, the fun fact with these models is that there isn't any paint on these models that is, um, yeah, shot-bought, if you understand what I mean, like pre-mixed. All the colours I used to paint these two eagles uh, were created using mixes of browns and beiges and oranges and such and such. Um, but the, the main body of the eagles, uh, that was painted in a mixture of Aberdeen Black and Steel Legion Drab, just so I get a nice dark uh, undertone. And then that was washed in Nuln oil, uh, and then it was highlighted again in the same mix, uh, and then had another highlight of Steel Eaton Drab and Abaddon Black, but just a little less black this time. The first mix was probably 50 50. This one was maybe two parts Steel Eaton Drab to one part Abaddon Black. Uh, and then it had two washes of Agrax Earthshade, and then it had a final light dry brush of Steel Legion Drab and Abaddon Black mixed again, this time three parts Steel Legion Drab, one part Abaddon Black. Uh, the feet, a little, little feet there, that was painted in a mixture of Troll Slayer Orange, Steel Legion Drab, and just a touch of Ooshapity Bone as a base coat. Then add a wash of Agrax Earth Shade, and then dry brushed again in the same colour. The beak uh, was painted in a mixture of, let me see now, bubonic brown mixed with Steel Legion Drab as a base coat. That had a wash of Agrax Earth Shade. And then the same applied again. Once again, 50 50 mix. And then a final. Uh, very watered down layer of bubonic brown and steel eaten drab mixture two to one. And then I used a little bit of Nuln oil just to try and get the crease in the mouth and in the nostril there as well. And the eyes, I decided to paint the eyes different on each of these models just to give them a little bit more character and you uh, and uniqueness uh, despite of course, them both having different poses, uh, but I thought it'd be a bit more fun to have one with uh, some sky blue eyes, and another one with some kind of piercing yellow. And I think it looks kind of cool. It kind of brightens up the model. It's quite surprising um, the difference that just dotting in the eye can make, um, and it I think it does it a lot, especially on the blue one. I think it just adds a little bit more color and. Uh, brightens up everything, you know, eagles being a big block of brown, you know. Um, it's nice to have a little bit of uh, different colour in there. Oh yes, and I've quite forgotten. Uh, obviously they're not completely brown, because I have painted the wingtips and tail feathers in a sort of greyish black, and that was a mixture of Aberdeen black one part to three parts Ushapiti Bone. 
then add a wash of known oil and then again dry brushed in the same mix again. So all in all it's um it's nothing overly complex you know. Um, the thing is though I would never have been able to paint these at different times because having to uh, to mix the paints it would have been almost impossible to remember uh, the exact measurements and everything and when it's on your palette it's nice and easy just to switch between the models so yeah I had a lot of fun doing these I know Christian's got a lot more fun models uh, lined up for me to do um, so that's gonna be very exciting Next up, we have the last of my Golden Rivendell finally finished, uh, which was two Elf Warriors and Elrond in armor. Happy with the way they came out, still enjoying it. It's quite clear that this is an army that I um, I really should pursue uh, because I, 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 there's, there's been no point during the painting process where I've been bored of painting these colors found it very very enjoyable so I don't know maybe I'll plan on getting maybe a little 400 500 point army of that um, of Rivendell um, but I hope you like them I, I'm certainly very pleased with them so again it's only a very small army I can't really use it really for any games it's it's eight um, Rivendell warriors um, four with Elven Blade and four with Bow and then Elrond and Gilgalad so it's not really an army it's just models that I really wanted in my collection and uh, two of my good friends were kind enough to um, to get hold of them for me so uh, but uh, after painting them I definitely think it's it's an army that I would like to pursue in the future so I hope you like them and uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the colour scheme. And if there are any Rivendell players out there, let me know what models uh, you like to play with. Because um, I haven't really had a lot of experience with them, and I haven't really played against them very much. A few games, but um, yeah, nothing where I've been able to really learn their tactics or... Or, or the best combinations of, of warriors and which heroes to use, etc, etc. So if you've got any um, advice on that, I would love to hear it. The last model I'll be showing you today <clears throat> is something very, very special. And I have to admit, sadly, that it isn't actually mine. It's another one of Christian's models that he had made for him. And uh, is, as you can see, a mounted Radagast. Uh, I had a lot of fun painting this up for him. I have to say, it's uh, the second Radagast model I've painted. Uh, I have painted this model on foot for him also. Um, but I was so excited to get it back to him that I actually forgot to uh, to record it and put it into this video. So apologies for that, but um, I'm sure Christian uh, will do a little video of him. Maybe you'll want to do a little review of my painting. <laughs> Um, and that might also include a, um, a Durbert uh, for the Moria army. So um, apologies for not filming that for you today. I was completely forgot that I actually needed to film it. And I was just so excited to, uh, to get it back to him and uh, see what he thought of those two models. Uh, but you can see Radagast here. Uh, painted in basically exactly the same. Um, might be a few little tone differences because of course I would have had to mix some paints here and there um, but I really really like him I'm very satisfied with the job I've done on it at least I that's my opinion um, yeah the horse was interesting uh, Christian gave me a picture of a, a kind of horse that he wanted done and I'm I don't really like painting horses, I have to say. I generally just do them one colour. But this one had um, like uh, a, a beige nose and and, and hooves. Like the, um, the, the hair around, around the hooves was beige, so he wanted that done. So I did the best job I could at that. Uh, I've also decided um, 
to paint the armor on the front of the head. And you can't really see it very well. Uh, yep. Uh, I decided to paint that in a green because, uh, as you can see, it's a a Rohan horse, so that would be metal normally, like metallic. But I didn't think that Radagast would have such things, and he would want to be a lot more greener in that respect. So I kind of thought, okay, well, what else could it be made of? And then I thought, okay, well, maybe it could have been like woven grass or something, something like dried grass, something quite sturdy, like wicker. And uh, I painted it up, and I thought it actually looked quite cool. It kind of ties in uh, with the the greenery in his satchel there, and I think it just kind of it is it is the, it's the color that breaks up the browns, and I think it works very well on the horse as well, just so it's not all on Radagast. But yeah, great fun. Really, really enjoyed it. I own this model myself, um, well not the one on the horse, but the Radagast from the Escape from Goblin Town, and I have not painted my own, <laughs> but um, I definitely know uh, what colours I'm going to be using when I paint mine. I want it to be exactly the same as this because I'm just so happy with the uh, with the colour choices I decided upon, and uh, I hope you like him too. Um, let me know what you think, I'm always interested on in hearing your comments. Um, yeah, and so that's basically it for the, um, for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you very, very soon.